Welcome to walkthrough number four of Belton's Quo Vages. This is Jeff, and today we're going to put up 50 Help Wanted posters. Actually, 49, since I put one in Canterbury Commons Diner last week. First stop is Regulator Headquarters. Every time I fast travel here, there's something trying to kill their Brahmin. Oh, sentry bot. Must neutralize bovine threat. You know, if there was one safe place in the wasteland, shouldn't it be Regulator Headquarters? There's a fine line between saving the Brahmin and using them for cover. Turn in some fingers while I'm here. Let your heart guide your hand. You live the life of a regulator. You're an example to all. I have some fingers to collect the bounty on. The unrighteous will fall. Let me see how many you've brought to justice. Here you go. So many of the unjust have been dispatched, but so many remain. But ever still, word reaches me that you have gone far beyond what we've asked. Good deeds should not go unrewarded, and so I will add on a bonus to your normal bounty. Next stop, Temple of the Union. There won't be anybody there since I already completed Head of State, but we can still put up flyers. Did it actually make more sense to put them up at the memorial now, but um, who's still here? Uh -huh. there you go. <laughs> Talon Company. Damn it, I just turned in fingers. Escaped slaves looking for a place to live and work could do worse than lollipops. And there's the poster. It actually puts up two here. There's another one at the top of the stairs. And you can't fast travel from here, so we'll just run up the road a bit. We also get a twofer at the Republic of Dave. The Republic has a no soliciting policy, but uh, in the interests of diplomacy and foreign trade, the President will allow a couple of flyers to be posted in the courtyard. And there's one on the museum and one on the Capitol building. Uh, doesn't matter who's President, by the way. Could be Dave or Rosie. Next spot is a scavenger trading post in a barn near Reclining Groves, where there's also always an ambush. Talon Company. And Death Claws and Sentry Bots. Deja vu. I'll just let them duke it out and pick off the survivors as usual. And here's the barn. Yes? I'll sell the loot from that Royal Rumble in a minute, but let's put up a poster first. Doesn't look like this place gets a lot of business, but where there's a merchant, there must be customers. A pleasure doing business with you. Bye. And on to see my friends at Paradise Falls. Uh, this one could be a hassle if you're not accepted there, but uh, I'm counting it as a guaranteed placement since you can still put one up even if you kill them all. Whoa! Seriously? No. No. Why isn't my hockey working? Oh, well, the Stimbat key's working or I'd be dead. Oh. Why am I trying to get out the assault rifle anyway? I need the dart gun, not the pulse grenade, not the Enfield. 
Not the 44. All right, there we go. Oh, these guys already took care of it. Miracle. Now, who's dead? Crazy Wolfgang and his guard both survived. And there's Grouse. I figured everybody'd be dead by the time I got back up here. What are you hanging around here for? Yeah, he's my only source of Mesmatron ammo, and I invested like 700 caps in Wolfgang's caravan, so I was gonna load an auto save, but they're all okay. But seriously, why the hell does a death claw spawn right at the entrance of one of the most heavily populated areas in the wasteland? Anyway, poster goes in the clinic, so you have to go all the way into the compound. Working in a nightclub might seem boring to a slaver, but if they've just been treated for injuries on a hunting party, they might want a change of careers. Yeah, or a death claw. From Paradise Falls to Agatha's house. No deadly creatures in her front yard. Amazing. She receives music-loving visitors. Some of them might be interested in dancing. And from Agatha's house to Moresti train yard. See the family. Oh, damn it! I could have brought those blood packs for Vance. Oh well. Poster goes on this train. Uh, residents of this strange little settlement don't seem like they'd be interested in working at lollipops, but you never know. Also possible that visitors or traders could see one. Here in Big Town, poster goes, uh, one in each of the four main buildings. Big Town gets a steady stream of new immigrants, and most of the residents are disgruntled with the conditions here. One in the clubhouse. One in Red's clinic. And one in the common house. All right, done. From Big Town, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump to Arafu. And we get a twofer on the side of Evan King's house. There's not much in the way of civilization uh, between Arafu and um, Gritter So uh, off we go. Oh. Oh, and that would have been another unpleasant surprise, except I forgot this character has the animal friend perk. Since it's not hostile to me, I guess it's uh, not going to attack their Brahmin. Anyway, poster goes here on this column. Yeah, if Sierra walks outside to take a piss, she is not going to make it to the outhouse. Uh, next stop is a scavenger shop near Warrington Station. And this is another frequent Talon Company ambush spot. Oh, no, not Talon Company. Albano Rab Scorpions. Great. You know what? As long as they don't see me, I just don't care. Where there's a merchant, there must be customers. Yeah, when I come out, those scorpions are going to be right on top of me, so let's be prepared. Oh, okay. Here's Talon Company. No. No. Ooh, I missed. 
Okay, well, good luck with those scorpions, buddy. I'm just gonna run over to Tenpenny Tower because I can't fast travel until I kill all of that and I'm just not gonna bother. All right, one goes out here in the courtyard. And the rest go inside. The residents scoff at the idea of anyone leaving the comfort and safety of their luxurious fortress to entertain the common rabble, but many of them secretly long for a bit of naughty excitement. The shopkeepers humor you by allowing posters in their establishments. Anthony Ling in particular seems excited by the prospect of providing wardrobe for theatrical entertainers. Uh, it doesn't matter where you stand, anywhere near the lobby area and four will get taken out of your inventory, one for each of the shops. And if you let the ghouls take over, you can still put them here. You just get a different message. Now from Tenpenny Tower to Endale. Two posters go right here in the bus stop. And there they are. Oh! Did I miss a memo? When did creatures start spawning in the middle of populated settlements? Or has this guy been stalking me all the way from Warrington Station? Um, doesn't matter. It must die so that I may fast travel. <laughs> and a bloat fly. On to Fort Independence. This is another one that might be a serious hassle, if you aren't friends with the outcasts. And it's a minor hassle for me, even though I scavenged tech for them and fixed their damn simulation. Um, thing is, despite all that, this door is locked, and picking it is a crime. Um, once you're inside, they don't care. I mean, if they like you. But if they see you picking the lock, they will not be happy. Hello. Not a good idea. He's warning me not to pick it, but if I just walk away, he doesn't care. Poster goes here in the barracks. Ooh, quantum. Outcasts are highly dedicated to their cause. Seems unlikely the women would leave to work at lollipops, but it wouldn't hurt to put one in the barracks just in case. And where is it? Uh. Eh, doesn't matter, it's in here somewhere. Now we head from Fort Independence to Vault 101. The poster will go on the inside of that door, but we can place it from out here. Probably a waste of paper, but the off chance that someone will follow you out of the vault seems worth it. Some of the people you left behind deserve the chance at survival you could give them. Others deserve considerably less hospitality, and the staff would probably enjoy showing someone like Officer Mac the error of his ways. Either way works. The next logical place would be Megaton, but uh, since you can blow it up during the power of the atom, and I want to show you the places that are guaranteed placement, we'll bypass that and go to a scavenger trading post just northeast of the Red Racer factory. Um, the scavenger is either under the bridge, or he got eaten by a giant albino deathclaw reaver, because I was in the neighborhood. Well, his dog's okay, so that's alright. Now, if you have any trouble finding it, it's right here on the world map, just northeast of the Red Racer factory. To Willem's Wharf. Put up a poster on Grandma's Sparkle's shack. And right across from uh, that, across the river, Dukov's place. Residents aren't interested in working at lollipops, but they occasionally entertain guests who don't mind a bit of debauchery. Definitely worth putting a couple up. That'd be Cherry and Fantasia, because Dukov himself had a slight accident involving my sniper rifle and his head. So, we're at the Citadel, but I haven't done the Waters of Life, so I don't have access yet. 
And I wouldn't put them up here anyway, because you can blow it up at the end of Broken Steel. Uh, so like Megaton, you can be permanently locked out of putting a poster there. Anyway, the reason I came here is it's the closest fast travel spot to the Scavenger Trading Post under the east end of the Arlington Memorial Bridge. We can drop down right up here. You know, by the time I killed all those raiders and super mutants, it would have probably been faster just to swim. Anyway, the scavenger shop is right around here. And we're under 20. I'm assuming I don't have to show you Rivet City on the world map. You can get rid of a total of seven here, I think. Uh, first one goes under the stairs to the drawbridge. Protected from the elements. One in the muddy rudder. Trini would be happy to see Lollipops lure her competition away from Rivet City and Belle doesn't offer live entertainment other than Trini, so she doesn't care. One in the common quarters on the midship deck. There are a few better places to find women seeking to improve their employment situation than here. There's a decent chance a help wanted poster in the lobby of the Weatherly Hotel will catch the eye of a woman who'd be interested in working at Lollipops and willing to travel. And three in the marketplace. Several of the vendors are agreeable to having flyers posted there, and they'll be seen by numerous women who might be interested. Hey. And there's one in Cindy's shop, one in Flack and Shrapnel's, and there's another one around here somewhere. From Rivet City to the Ranger Compound. Rangers don't sound like the kind of people who'd be interested in dancing at lollipops, but an inhabited location where passersby aren't shot on sight probably gets occasional visitors who might be. And over there it is, by the door to Riley's bunker. Next stop, Museum of History. These are all in Underworld. Uh, the first one's in Underworld Outfitters. The women here won't risk a dangerous journey just to be mocked by the crowd at Lollipops, but Underworld occasionally gets other smooth-skinned visitors who might see a poster. Tulip's happy to put one up in Underworld Outfitters, and uh, the other shops as well. Hey there. You're back. Um, wow, you're really back. What do you need? Oh, and um, you can give Tulip a second poster if you know about the railroad and you didn't expose Harkness to Zimmer, but I'm not going to do that because in your game she might be dead, um, but you can still put one up in her shop even if she is. There are actually four members of the railroad who will take one each, and I'll tell you who they are later, but I'm not going to give them any because, like I say, they might be dead, so they aren't guaranteed. One in the ninth circle. And one in Carol's place. There are two more scavenger shops downtown. The first one's here in the Radiation King in Georgetown. There it is. The last scavenger shop is here on Pennsylvania Avenue. By the way, if you've never been downtown and you don't have map markers, the metro is kind of a nightmare, but there are plenty of other tutorials around that explain how to navigate that. Anyway, we're down to one guaranteed location. Every place I've showed you so far, uh, you can put up a poster even if the owner is dead or whatever. They're always available, although they might be tricky to get to if the people are still alive and they just don't like you. Uh, anyway, we're going to go from Pennsylvania Avenue, just one more stop, to uh, GNR Plaza. Okay, good timing. Uh, the magazine's done. We'll just get rid of the uh, last few posters and talk to Larry. That was a hell of 
We can get rid of one here in the GNR lobby. There are 46 guaranteed locations, so I should only have four posters left. Looks like Three Dogs' only recent visitors have been the Brotherhood of Steel, but with the Super Mutants neutralized, that might change. On the other hand, if Three Dog himself could mention lollipops on the radio, the advertising would be priceless. Oh, I must have missed one. I'm gonna have to save and check the footage. Okay, so it's not as bad as I thought. I missed the very first one at Regulator Headquarters. Uh, I got distracted with the sentry bot and turning in fingers that I never actually put up the poster. Uh, it goes on the outside of their building. If you um, don't have the Lawbringer perk, you can still put it up. You just won't have a map marker, so you have to walk there. But I'm not going back now, because Three Dog will take up to five, and that's exactly how many I have left. What's up? Have you heard Lollipops is back in business? The bar, girls, even the magazine. Smooth moves, kid. Smooth moves. And it's not just entertainment. It's jobs and trade. It's the good fight. Power to the people, eh, kid? Anyway, we're hiring dancers. Think you could mention it on the air? Hey, all right! I'll get to singing your praises. And that completes positions available. See ya. Anytime you need a place to crash, duck in here. Be glad to provide. Now, of course, Three Dog could be dead, so I'll show you the other 17 places you can get rid of posters. None of these are guaranteed, so if all of these people are dead and both locations are blown up, you can't complete the quest. I already mentioned the caravan merchants. There are four of them, Crazy Wolfgang, Crow, Doc Hoff, and Lucky Harith. Going around the map, you can get rid of three down at uh, the Citadel. After you get access, of course, and assuming you didn't blow it up. There are four members of the Railroad who will take one poster each if you know about the Railroad and you didn't expose Harkness to Zimmer. Uh, I already showed you Tulip, who is uh, up here at the Museum of History. There is also Herbert Dashwood, who lives at Tenpenny Tower over here. And uh, Victoria Watts, who is the head of the whole organization, apparently, uh, lives at Rivet City. And the fourth member of the railroad would be Manya, who lives in Megaton. Uh, the last six locations are all in Megaton, assuming you didn't blow it up. Two at the Brass Lantern, uh, one outside and one inside. One inside the clinic. One inside Craterside Supply. One inside the women's restroom. And one right next door at the common house. But considering I feel like I just had about a year's worth of random encounters in one episode, I think I'm going to... Yeah, you need something? Hey, guy. Pop into my house, heal up, and take a nap. We can talk to Larry about the magazine next week. See you then.